In this video, I will show you how to link your Schoology gradebook with Infinite Campus. If you're like me, you maybe forgot what your categories are, so first go to Grade Setup. I have critiques, presentations, and projects as my categories. If you use weighted categories, make note of your percentages. I'm going to add one more category because I've been meaning to add one for completion. That's not worth any points. For each of your categories, double check if you have this drop down listed as total points or percent. Thinking back to my assessment course in college, using points or percents makes a very big difference. So here's a reference if you need it. You can pause the video and take a look at the distinctions. Note that this is a simple example that doesn't take into account any weighted categories. Since I do use weighted categories and all of my assignments are worth the same amount of points, I will use total points. You can drop the lowest if you want, and this category doesn't have a weight, but yours might. Click Create. Double check that all of your categories are calculated the same, whether it's points or percentages. Remember which one you picked. As a side note, if you click a star next to something, it makes it the default when you make a new assignment. I'll do that here for projects since that's the category most of my assignments fall under. For your grading periods, you'll want 100 for semester one and zero for semester two. You'll go back second semester and switch these. For the gradebook scale, the scale you use in Schoology must be exactly the same as the scale you use in Infinite Campus. The numeric scale shows the student's overall percentage, but no letter score. And this can be confusing to students and parents if they don't know whether you consider a 98% an A or an A+, for example. And you won't be able to use this scale if you want to sync, and I don't see any benefit for using it anyway, though it's usually the default in Schoology, so you will want to change it. The A plus slash minus scale is almost exactly like the district traditional grading scale, and that's the one that matches Infinite Campus. So I would choose the district's traditional grading scale anyway. Side note, at the time of this recording, our district's traditional grading scale is set to only show students their letter grade, not their overall percentage. You would have to tell them their percentage, and if this is not ideal for you, you can add your own grade scale. Here's what you would type in to make it match Infinite Campus. Just be sure to leave the only show letter grade unchecked. I actually use a GPA scale and I can show you how I did that in another video. I don't have anything else checked except allow members to view the student grade report. And don't forget to click save changes at the bottom. You will have to do this for each course that you teach, but if you have linked sections, you only have to do it once. Next, go to Infinite Campus. Under Instruction to your gradebook, you're going to add these exact same categories. Go over to Settings and click the second one down, Categories. Here are three that I've already added, including one for my TAs. No matter what period you're on, you'll see all your categories under this tab in the Settings. Click the Add button in the bottom right corner. Type in the category name exactly as you have it in Schoology. Click the boxes to choose which classes you'd like that category to be applied to. Enter the weight here, but I'm just going to keep it as zero. And then you don't have to enter anything else. Click Save, and now that category has been added to Infinite Campus. Do this for all categories that you have in your Schoology gradebook. If you have different categories for different classes, you can enter them all here and then designate which classes they apply to on that category detail screen. If you use the same categories, you only have to enter them once. You can click through this drop down to see the categories designated for each class and the details. So then click Close. Back under Settings, click on Non Campus Assignment Defaults. There's no need to have a defaulted category. We're going to configure our categories between Schoology and Infinite Campus, so Infinite Campus will know the right category for each of your assignments. What it doesn't always know is which grading task to put them under. San Ramon Valley has Infinite Campus set up so that all assignments should go under semester grade, even if it's a progress or quarter grading window. So your default will always be semester. Click Save. And unfortunately, you are going to have to do that step for each of your classes going into the non-campus assignment defaults and making it semester. Back over in Schoology, you need to make sure your assignments are set up correctly. In the editing screen for all of your assignments, you'll want to make sure that you have your grading scale. 
the category for that assignment. And one thing I always forget to check is Sync to SIS, which is the Student Information System, aka Infinite Campus. I'm going to intentionally leave it unchecked to show you something later on, but you will go ahead and check it. And then make sure you have a due date for all of your assignments as well. Don't forget to save your changes. Next, you'll find the Infinite Campus app in Schoology. There's a quick link button up here, but it never works. Instead, find the Infinite Campus listed on the left-hand side. Ignore this first screen that pops up. Click on the Configuration button. You'll see your categories and you'll match them between the two programs. Here are the two that I entered previously and the new one that I just created. It's super helpful if the names are exactly the same. Click Save Configuration and unfortunately you are going to have to do this for every section that you teach even if they're linked. You'll select the classes from up here. It's easy to miss and you'll wonder why one or more of your classes aren't syncing. So go back to the button that says Sync Grades. You'll see all of your assignments. Mine have been synced previously, so your page probably won't look the same. You can see that one of my assignments says opted out. I can hover over view info, and what it's saying is that I neglected to click that SIS button when I made the assignment. I'll go back to that assignment, go into the editing page, and make sure to check sync to SIS, save those changes. Back to Infinite Campus app on Schoology. It no longer says opted out. Now you're ready to sync. You can click this button to sync your assignments, but more than likely you're going to be in your gradebook. You'll have finished entering your grades, and that's when you'll be ready to sync. In your gradebook, all you have to do is click this button here. Unfortunately, you do have to click on it for the gradebook of each of your classes, even if they're linked, but it's an easy click. The button to the right of the syncing button is the status log, which will show you which assignments have been synced and which ones are queued to be synced. At this stage, you'll probably never come back down here to this app. You'll probably just always click this button in your gradebook to sync your changes. Go back to Infinite Campus. You might have to reload the page. And another side note, you might not see your assignments listed until the grade window opens. The next steps I'm going to show you are only if you get this button here that says uncategorized assignments. Because earlier we set our non-campus assignment defaults task to semester, you shouldn't see this button, but I wanted to show you just in case it does pop up what it looks like. Click on this button, and in this screen, you'll want the standard slash grading task to be the semester grade for all of your assignments, even if we are in the progress or quarter grading period. Mark all assignments as semester grade. Thankfully, the categories for each assignment should be entered correctly. Click Save, OK, and Close. You should now see all of your assignments. You're almost finished. Go back over to Settings and click on Grade Calc Options. For every grading task, you're going to click on this drop down for your grading scale. The standard scale in Infinite Campus matches the district's traditional grading scale in Schoology. This is probably what you'll want to choose. As I mentioned, I use a different scale and I can show you how I do that in a different video. If you used weighted categories, you'll want to check this box. Checking Use Scores Percentage Value will calculate the scores based on a percentage. If you marked Use Percent in Schoology, you'll want to click this. I use Total Points, so I leave it blank. Fill this in for all of the tasks. You can do the second semester now as well and click Save. Then you can use the scroll bar on the bottom to check that all of your assignments have indeed been listed into Infinite Campus. If you hover over here, you can see the full name and information for each of the assignments. When it is a grading period, you'll come over to the word post and click on that. Here it will tell you which term and task you'll be posting for. Click OK and click OK here. You can enter any comments that you like. Be sure you click that Save button. And that is how you sync your grades from Schoology to Infinite Campus.